Good evening, everyone, and welcome to night two of the St. Kitts and Gula National Bank Calypso Elimination Part Two. It's also powered by the cable. I'm yours truly, St. Clair, also known as GQ, and that's spelled G C U E, as you can see. And on like, alongside me, I should say, is the man himself, Abenati. We're going to be here tonight giving you commentary for the Calypso show, so you'll be seeing us and hearing us in between the performances. Tonight, I would like to acknowledge our MC, which is Chris Moonlight, also known as Mighty Shot Pants. We also have your auditor, which is Maitland and Maitland, and we'll be doing a few interviews tonight, not a couple, a few. We have Lady Carence going to be passing through. King Hollywood will be passing through, and Lady Jem will also be passing through. But before we go too far, though, I want to make sure you understand the criteria and the order of appearance. I'm going to let my buddy, the man himself, Abonati, fill you in with that. Yes, good evening, Joku, and it's good to be back here, um, night two of the eliminations. Um, so this evening, we have 10 Calypsonians that are going to be vying for a spot in the Senior Calypso Finals of uh, December the 30th, I think the show is. December the 30th. And so we have, first on stage, we have King Irving. Second on stage, we have Lady Karenz. Third on stage, King Hollywood, followed by Lady Jem. Queen Kibi. Lord Payne will be sixth on stage. Seventh will be Paula. Eighth, Lala, nine, Alumunu, and bringing up the rear, the King Astro. 
All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to make sure you guys understand what we were going to be dealing with tonight in terms of the criteria, in terms of who the judges are, but we have to start the show. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to take you on stage as we get the National Anthem. time to discover what your National Bank Visa debit card can do. It can get you out of a pickle. Using my National Bank Visa card is fast, secure, and convenient. Cashless SKN is our new lifestyle choice. National Bank, always here. It's the ZIZ Mobile app, the newest way to get the latest on what's happening locally, regionally, and internationally. Say goodbye to newspaper clutter and hello to updated classifieds on our radio market. Whether you're streaming your favorite local TV or radio shows or catching up on memorable moments in sports and entertainment, the ZIZ Mobile app offers this and so much more. Always on the go? Get the ZIZ Mobile app today. Visit the App Store on your smartphone or tablet and search for ZIZ News to download the app free of cost. ZIZ Online, reaching you wherever you are. There is an entrepreneur in all of us. They are the risk takers, the record breakers, the difference makers. Entrepreneurs are the ones who fuel our economy, they fuel job growth, they fuel technology, making St. Kitts and Nevis a much better place. And we have been there every step of the way, providing small business and personal development loans tailored to your significant needs. The Development Bank of St. Kitts and Nevis, making a sustained positive difference in your life. Hey man, welcome back, welcome back. Now, before we went to on stage for the National Anthem, I was talking to you about the criteria. So let's continue there, so at least people who are viewing and listening can make notes and get themselves prepared for tonight. Okay, so um, GQ, our judging criteria for this evening is the same as last evening. You have lyrics, and 40 points have been awarded to lyrics. Music, 30 points. Performance, 25 points, giving a grand total of 95. And just like last night, we gave our listening and viewing audience um, an indication as to why we are using 95 points instead of 100. Um, because we are not allowing any props on stage, five points would have been allocated to the use of props, and so we are not having any props. Hence the reason why those five points have been eliminated and why the 
total would be on 95 points. And speaking of the judging criteria, I think that we should let our viewing and listening audience know who the judges for this evening are. All right, so we have um, Warren Moving, who will be judging tonight. We also have uh, Randy Taylor, he's one of the judges. Uh, Jervin Swanston is another judge. Trevor Woodley, um, Shanua Broadbelt, um, Mr. Taylor, and Philip Brown. I must apologize to him last night. We turned him into a Frenchman, I know. <laughs> Our capital um, represents the French, per se. But uh, Mr. Philip is not Felipe, it's Philip, <laughs> Mr. Brown. So good evening to you. And he's judging again this evening. And so the judges from this evening are the same. Are the judges that are adjudicating the contest this evening are the same judges mm -hmm. from last evening. So right. they will just continue where they left off last evening. Yeah, which makes sense. And uh, this evening they'll be using again just, well, in terms of selecting the seven finalists that will be going up seven against... Seven or eight? Seven finalists okay. would be selected to go up against the reigning monarch um, Queen Eji. Okay. okay. Right. So they'll be looking for seven from the eliminations, and they'll be using the high-low system. It's going to be the highest and the lowest points of each judge will be discarded. Yes. And then you'll have a cumulative of the remaining scores from the scores from the remaining five judges. Indeed, indeed. All right. So we we've let the people know about the the criteria. We let them know about the judges, who the judges are. Are we ready for the first performance? Well. I think we are. Let's, so let's, take let's, it, let's take it to the stage. The stage. And let's introduce Chris Moonlight, Mighty Short Pants. Welcome to part two, elimination 2021 for Sugar Mass 50. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll now pause for a minute of silence for Elia. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome again. My name is Chris Moonlight Roberts, 
aka short pants i'm your mc for this evening elimination part two first i want to say thank you to the calypso chair and the chair lady of carnival for having me back here this evening i want to say thank you also to the management and staff of carl batik for suiting me out this evening nicely dressed i want to round applause here Class is class. Make of it last. And tonight I decided to turn it down a bit because church in the morning. So I wear my good batik outfit. And I want to say a big thank you to those folks at Carl Batik who make sure that I'm well dressed this evening. Because I don't have much clothes. You know, I normally buy jungle sale. So good clothes tonight. Anybody want them after, check me backstage. Depends on how you look, you get the price. If you ain't look good, the price is up. Please, no fat people come look for me clothes. They're not for you. You're not going to bust out the treading. But ladies and gentlemen, we have 10 Calypsonians this evening. And the order of them, King Irvin, Lady Carmen, King Hollywood, Lady Gem, Queen Kibi, Lord Payne, Pahula, Lala, Alawunu, and King Astro. That's the order this evening. We're going to keep things rolling. And as you realize, we have a little early start, and we hope to be out of here by quarter to eight. We are not making any joke this evening. Uh, it seems like we have a hurricane up here. Named Hurricane Wingo. That just blew down uh, Shabba thing. You know Shabba lights a thing just drop on the ground. And everybody see it. Shabba was just exposed. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say goodnight to all those people who are viewing at home and abroad. I want to say thank you to all those people who meet me all day and congratulate me for that bull suit last night. I had to go to the emergency at JNF after I left here to get my neck in a brace so I can come back tonight. That piece of thing, not easy. Heavy. And the doctor ain't tell me what he tell cut. He tell me I could go back. Can the doctor tell cut something else? And when I introduced Cut last year, everybody look on the screen and Cut in shop. I don't know what happened to him. But the doctor tell me, go back tonight, short pants. Do you think so? I dress in a short pants. I have on some cologne. The cologne only costs $2. They're itching my skin right now, but uh, I can live with it so long. Cameraman, you keep following me. <laughs> I look too good, you know. These clothes ain't easy, you know. Anyhow, they give me final night, you wait for them clothes. It's going to be trouble. We have our all-star band this evening. Put your hands together for our all-star band. And our two backup singers, they dress in white tonight. I don't know what's the occasion, but Shabba White look kind of dingy. Shabba need to, he need to wash it white with some blue soap. And a little blue. And put them out on two stone to bleach. Because I can't tell if Shabba have on a white shirt, a brown shirt, or a yellow shirt. Shabba, you got to be washing your white with some other color. You need to wash your white by yourself. So with the lady from Challengers who deal with you, just wash your clothes. Miss? Okay. You say behave yourself. And if you don't behave, you won't get the final night. So why should you behave? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we just making sure everything is in order. Uh, Mr. Hanley just arrived from the flamboyant home in Nevis. So he's very late. The boat bring him down. And you know, Hanley lived there because of his age. He's 85 and he's still blowing. So we're just waiting for Hanley to set up to get on two more of his eyes. And Hanley is a retiree making a lot of money, but he lives in the home in Nevis. He's true and then put him there because he won't put a name on the house of the pastor. 
I don't really want to chat the body business today. Sir. But I met a fellow in town today and he told me I must chat something that Wingo didn't pay him. Stickles. Stickles said, I must tell Wingo to bring him money. Please. That's why he gone with new vibes. Stickles tell me so down Port Zanta today in Rogers liquor store. If a liar lie from what he tell me. And they like say I like chat. Is what people tell me, you know. Wait, Wingo. Stickles chat you today. And stickers say, you ain't going to train and you're making the most money in the band. Wingo, that announcement going to be very short. I have it here. Leave to mourn a lot of fellas in Grandmasters and nobody else. We ain't got a for that. That they're free. Because you can't even say, and Grandmasters, that's $2. Leave that out. Just say, Wingo, dead. And Wingo, cough, going to be very light, so we're going to pack some instrument in there to make sure it's heavy. So when them fellas walk with it, they're straining it. You want to know if Wingo really in his instrument for Grandmasters, he's going with it. So y'all be careful. Wingo been wearing the same thing for the last 46 years. 110, 110, 110. Even when Wingo belly full, he looked the same. Huh? What? Eh? What? Eh? What you say? Okay. No bless Espanol, si senorita Benaka. Me no understand you. Me live new tongue. Me come into the shoot. Me got a passport mark, sing Christopher Neves. Where you come from? Hanley, you ready? Hanley, Hanley just greasy mouth. Hanley, your mouth grease? Okay. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> And it look like it's good for Pond Road. Bandman, are you ready? Are you ready to go band leader? Huh? Wait. I come from a special school number. Go ahead. <laughs> Tell me what I must do. We can go say, go ahead. You think you're talking to Smiley? Who went special head on the, on the Royal Bank bus? You're talking to a sensible young man that Moonlight are bringing this world. Ladies and gentlemen. Get ready for the first Calypsonian in Elimination Part 2. The judges are ready, the production crew are ready, and the all-star band are ready. And the MC is ready. And the first Calypsonian backstage is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome on stage King Irving and the name of his song, Hold On My People.
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was the King Urban. Hold on, my people. Let me hear you one more time for King Urban. At last, at last, boy, I, I was looking at the captain on the ship, and the captain of the ship was taking everyone on a, on a, on a cruise and telling them to hold on. Don't, don't worry, don't panic. I'm in control. And I'm going to take you where you got to go. Is that tie on stage? Ready yeah. For the sailor. Um, you wore a tie with the colors of our national flag. Um, and this, this song, just as some of the songs last evening, spoke to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and uh, Irvin, the captain of the ship, is in, in his song, is encouraging the citizens to hold on and to be patient as 
this pandemic too will pass. He actually had a line, adversity can't last. And uh, he said, and the ship of state would sail into harbor, safe at last, giving us some hope that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. There is hope for all of us at the end of COVID-19 pandemic. I hope there's hope for him tonight to go shoot to the finals. <laughs> Mm -hmm. into the harbor of the <laughs> senior college society well, well I, I about that that's where we're broadcasting from just in case you didn't know we are here at Cannibal Village for the night of elimination number two Okay, so we're here at night two of the eliminations. Yes, we, we, we do apologize about the, the interruption there a while ago. But we, as we were saying, um, King Irvin um, taking us through the storm and letting you guys know where we are. We are at Wana Park, Cannibal Village. I know last night a few people were asking about that. And we did not mention that, I do apologize. But that's where we are. We are at Cannibal Village. And if you're wondering where we are in particular, uh, boy, I'm telling you, I'm learning more about Cannibal Village. There are a lot of compartments here, a lot of compartments, and we are in one of them doing our broadcast. Talking about broadcast, uh, let's take the time out to go through the judges for those who missed the, who the judges are. I mean, I know we announced who the judges are, but in terms of who they are, per se, in terms of a little bit about them. So let's touch base on um, Warren movement. I know last night you, you highlighted a bit about him. Can you do so again this evening for the people? Okay, so Warren movement, movement is a past culture I'm a junior Calypso monarch. Mm -hmm. um, he's a soloist, and over the past 25 years, he has been singing predominantly gospel music. As a matter of fact, Warren is on the vestry of the St. George's Anglican, St. George and St. John Anglican Church in Nevis. So he's the church boy. So I hope that tomorrow, GQ, um, when, he re when he goes to church, uh -huh. he's not chastised by his pastor. <laughs> Before we go on to the next judge, right? But it's not like you're a part of the congregation, how you spoke about it. Yes, him, yes, I say. yes. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go live to the, the park right now for Lady Karen's. Amen. 
down tone it down uh, before i let you jump in and, and highlight um, a bit about her performance let me once again acknowledge your title sponsor for this evening saying it's newest angola national bank always here for you and powered by the cable and remember national bank is cashless skn also development bank of saying it's nearest uh zelize broadcasting corporation the cable Carib Brewery, St. Kitts Limited, or should I say St. Kitts and Nevis Limited, National Caribbean Insurance Co. Limited, St. Kitts Marriott, Royal St. Kitts Hotel, Nash, or should I say Next Generation Medical Laboratory. Those are our sponsors for this evening. And remember, for Sugar Mass 50, use your National Bank debit credit card, or should I say debit card, not credit card, debit card instead of cash. Abenati, I see you taking notes. What's your thoughts? Yeah, Lady Karen, powerful rendition in, in, you know, in my opinion. Um, Tone Down was the name of the song, and mm -hmm. she, in that song, she was asking persons to, you know, tone down the anger. Um, watch your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, there are some persons, they get in a rage, they get angry, mm -hmm. and... Yeah, yep. it's yeah, over nothing. 
their blood pressure goes up. Next thing you hear that they are at Springfield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and so, course. you know, watch your behavior, especially in front of when you're in the company of the younger ones. Mm -hmm. Be a role model. Set some example yes, for them. Yes. So it's, 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 yes. a, it's, a, it's a song that, you know, is, is, is very timely, especially in our, in our um, present day. Very, very, very timely. And she went on to, to say, learn how to engage, engage in civil um, discourse. Mm -hmm. So she's really um, giving some sound words of advice to, to, to us, the elders. Yes. You know, to, to, to be more civil. Yes. You know, to, 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 to tone it down. Yes. And to be proper role models for the younger ones that are often in our company. Let me take this moment to highlight the All-Star Band. They have been doing a great job over the whole entire series, despite... Let's leave that alone. <laughs> we have Wingrove Hicks on trumpet. We have uh, Nigel Williams, trumpet. Uh, Larry also doing trumpet. Aaron Roberts doing trombone. Alex Condell on the saxophone. David Henley doing, well, he's on the saxophone as well. We also have Kurt Lee Hodge on the guitar and Roland Abel bass and rhythm. What we're going to do right now, though, we're going to go to the stage and get ready for our next performer. We have out of Queen City Nevis, the man himself, King Hollywood. <laughs> King Hollywood, fans far and near They want me to give a vote of thanks For the 50th year I did promise them, me na come back ya In this fire's thing Then I remember, I want the junior But never the senior king on this path, heading for my goal I salute those who play that role To ensure our festivity Go now celebrate a half century Thank you all them Marco Jumbi Thank you Clowns, pull masks, parade and commies Thank you Chaparrons and all them judges Volunteers, but give tongue lashes. I salute you for in your part, your contribution meant broken hearts. I celebrate this jubilee. Bring your glass, bring your cup, and celebrate with me. Oh, yes, and grand. 
that he's going to be back here at Carnival City <laughs> come December the 30th, the night of the Calypso finals for Sugarman 50. I see you Your know, thoughts? I see you in the vision pride <laughs> kicking one time, boy. You did not even let me introduce the program. <laughs> well, I must say, I must say, right, I am not a judge tonight, but let me say this. By big enough people, don't know mean you're going to win, you know. <laughs> He did a very good job in acknowledging everyone, but I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, for me though, I, I think he, he, he did a good job in, 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 in his presentation in terms yeah, of yeah. acknowledging yeah. who should be acknowledged. He did yeah. his research. Yeah, he did his research. He did his research. Met some people like C.A. Paul Saltwell. Yes. Um, he thanked all his past chairmen yes. of, or chairpersons of Carnival. Of, of Carnival. Yes. All yes. of he the. He also mentioned DJs. DJs. Yeah. I mean, the Queen contestants, right. Calypsonians, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he himself was a former junior, junior Calypso, Calypso King, King. Yes. in 1995. Yes. Hollywood holds the distinction of being the only Calypsonian in Singus Nevis to defeat King Conris in a Calypso competition. Yes, but it was juniors. But it was juniors. <laughs> <laughs> That time has gone. <laughs> that ship has sailed, Abernathy. Yes, but, and but I like, must comment on the musical arrangement. Um, uh -huh. It's a Funk Gums musical arrangement. Oh, really? Yeah, Funk Gums. And GQ, 
Um, you know, for Sugar Mar 50, the Calypsonians and Sinkins has have stepped out of the the the, the local stepped out more, stepped out more. more. So they have been doing it over right. the years. You have regional um arrangers mm -hmm. from gums mm -hmm. he arranged for quite a few of the calypsonians yes. and last evening i was told that pelham goddard the musical arranger for charlie's roots and david rudder he arranged one of the songs that we listened to last night lady diva yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah pelham yeah, goddard yeah. did that yeah and but, so and, but, and and you have colin um colin the guy from the the the, the, the Trinidad and Tobago um, police force band in Trinidad, so yes. they have stepped out of the league yes. and they have gone overseas and gotten and engaged the services yes. of musical arrangers, top class yes. musical arrangers. But, but can I say this though, right? It might be top shelf, but I wasn't feeling that drink at all. I'm sorry, I wasn't feeling that drink at all. I, I like his <laughs> presentation, but you know, it it the melody didn't catch me. Um, honestly, can you can you sing the melody now? Mm, parts of it. Okay. You see what I'm I, think, I think I think you know, um, to be fair, he had some challenges mm -hmm. um, with lyrical fit. Yes, I, yes. I think that lyrical fit. He yes, had some challenges. Yes, yes. He also had some vocal card challenges. Yes, yes. He did more practice. Yeah, 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 yeah. He should have come to the tent. And um, kind of suggests to me that he came here this evening somewhat underprepared. Okay, we are on the same page. I like you. you, you Someone you, you, call, you call it as you see it. That's, like how, I, that's how I yeah. call Calypso. I, 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 I like you. I like you. We're getting ready for our next performer coming up shortly. Uh, we have uh, Lady Jem. She's going to be here in the studio with us later on this evening. Um, she's going to be doing something called Who Can't Hear Feel. Now, I know that title or the topic, uh, it has a certain connotation to it, right? But from listening to her song, um, she's touching base on some issues as it relates to women and you should be standing up for yourself. I don't want to give too much away because I've heard this song before and I want the people to hate for themselves. So the judges are ready. Let's take it to the stage and let's go for Lady Jem who will be doing a song, Who Can't Hear Gun Feel. <laughs>
Well, I, I was hoping for Abernathy to jump in like the last time, but... <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, it's the thing is, right? We came to a compromise this evening. Okay. Anything to do with the ladies, uh -huh. you will take care of them. Oh, I think it was official. I thought that was just behind the scene, Gabba. Yes, yeah, so... It's official. Know, Lady Gem and how she was dressed and all that. I am giving you that opportunity tonight, GQ. To talk about how she yeah. was dressed? Yeah. Uh, and other things. Oh, uh, uh, man. Lady Gem, you look nice. That's all I got to say. You look nice. You look nice. I think she, she, she came up with the intention to, to portray what she was talking about. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and, and that's an issue that is happening not only here in St. Kitts and Nevis, but around the world, you know? And I, I think she's a brave woman to, to come out and touch an issue like that. An issue like that. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very important issue. Yes, it is. Yes, it you, is. Um, speaking to women, um, asking them to, to, to slow down in life. As, and she made reference to a, a saying, Granny used to say, um, slow down in life. Mm -hmm. And GQ, um, I do not know how closely you are listening, but she referenced, she referenced you in her song. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She, she spoke about sugar daddies. <laughs> if you want to comment, ask. <laughs> I got with so you, she, I got with you, she, I got with you. She, you she, used, phrases, she used phrases such as, such as work hard <laughs> to get to the top. She even, she even spoke to women in society and, and said, you know, we need a woman prime minister. Yes, yes, yes. All jokes you know? aside, she, she yes, touched on she, some issues. She real, some, some, some real and, hard issues. And um, I, I must applaud her for that. Yes. So the question is now, if the judges feel the same way. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah. that she did justice. Yeah. I'm not a judge, but I think no. she did justice um, to the song, uh, uh, the, 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 her performance, the presentation to me was, was good. Mm -hmm. The use of, 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 her, uh, of her hands, mm -hmm. um, body language. Yep. Um, I think that she did an excellent yeah. job. Uh, you know what, let me take this time out to, to highlight a bit of the criteria because I, th I want our listeners and our viewers to keep an idea of what's going on so you can do your own judging. So you have lyrics and it's broken down into three categories. You have expression of theme, well, more than three, sorry. Expression of theme, which is just five points. Wordcraft, 15. Um, the content of, of the song, 15 as well. And the creativity part of it. Well, you don't touch base on the music aspect of it. The music aspect, um, on the music we have 30 points overall. We have melody, 15 points. And the melody speaks to the sweetness um, and the singing, the sweetness of the, of the verses, the singing chorus and the band chorus. Um, does the tune carry the message effectively? Um, does it capture the mood of the theme? And then you had arrangement, 10 points. Does it suit the mood and the tempo? Um, you have a particular instruments used to specially create and convey mood. Does it have the, co the correct key or, um, and orchestration? Um, the effectiveness of the backup singers, if, if any. And then you, you had originality. Mm -hmm. uh, are the melody and the, and the arrangement original? Are pieces of other people's music included? Are there novel musical ideas in the arrangement or melody? And finally, is there any successful incorporation of unusual musical instruments or a combination of mm, instruments? Okay. Let me take this time out to acknowledge your title sponsor for this evening. That's Sink is News and Gula National Bank. Always here for you. And remember, National Bank is cashless SKN. And also, let me take this time out to acknowledge our, our sponsor that is powering tonight. That is the cable. So one is presenting and one is powering. So you have the Sink is News and Gula National Bank presenting, which is the title sponsor for this evening broadcast, and the cable powering what you are seeing right now. So thank you to both of those companies and big shout-outs going out to uh, Development Bank. Uh, uh, that's Development Bank of St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, ZLIZ Broadcasting Corporation, and we're going to take you back to the stage for our next performer. We have coming up, uh, no mass, no entry. Let's go to the stage. Queen Kibi. Lady Kibi, no mass. No entry. No mass.
Another night of the Sinkers News Angola National Bank Limited. Learn more about National Bank Mobile Banking. That was Queen Kibi doing No Mask, No Entry. I don't know about you, Abba. I still see you taking notes. Uh, for me, I realize... Hold on. You know what? Let's take a quick break and we'll be back and chat some more about Queen Kibi. We'll be back right after this. Want to get away? Now you can. Stop standing in long ATM lines to withdraw cash. Use your national debit or black cards to complete a wide variety of transactions at supermarkets, variety stores, gas stations, pharmacies, and more. Shop online at the most popular websites and stores for quality brands using your national debit or black cards. And take back your time to enjoy all the things that you love to do. Remember, instead of waiting in long ATM lines to withdraw cash, use your national bank cards today. National Bank, always here. Whether you're at home or abroad, ZNIZ's social media platforms help you stay connected with what's going on in St. Kitts and Nevis. Keep up with daily events by liking our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter at ZBC Online. Like our pictures on Instagram and subscribe to our videos on YouTube. Also, you can watch us live on the ZIZ mobile app and our website, ZIZonline.com. No matter where you are, ZIZ is just a click away. ZIZ Broadcasting Corporation, reaching you wherever you are. There is an entrepreneur in all of us. They are the risk takers, the record breakers, the difference makers. Entrepreneurs are the ones who fuel our economy, they fuel job growth, they fuel technology, making St. Kitts and Nevis a much better place. And we have been there every step of the way, providing small business and personal development loans tailored to your significant needs. The Development Bank of St. Kitts and Nevis making a sustained positive difference in your life. Welcome back to St. Kitts Nevis and Gula National Bank Limited. Night two of the Senior Calypso eliminations. And remember, National Bank is S, what should I say? Cashless SKN. Remember that. I mean, after before the break, we were talking about uh, Queen Kibi. I was just about to let you know that I think she has a degree in diplomacy. Yeah. I was listening to her song, but I read between the lines. And I know it's supposed to be about Corona, but read all I heard... Read between the lines that she was 
giving you some sound advice, Juku. Yeah, to practice safe sex. safe sex. Safe, safe sex. Safe sex. Using the existing um, non pharmaceutical, non -pharmaceutical yeah. protocols yeah. to combat um, COVID 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protect yourself, yeah, Juku. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hope you have your mask in your pocket. Wherever you go, I hope you have that mask in your pocket, Juku. Do you want me to answer that now? <laughs> yes. I mean, you may gain, you may get some benefits. We, we. <laughs> Anyways, tonight our auditor is Maitland and Maitland. They will be doing the tabulation, and as I understand, at the end of the night, we'll find out who will be advancing to yes, the finals. We'll be, everyone we'll, be, is, we'll be making that announcement this yeah, evening. Yeah, everyone is all eager to find out about that. And just to let you know who the judges are, we made mention of uh, Mr. Moving earlier. Uh, let's get uh, Mr. Randy Taylor. He's one of the judges for uh, this evening. I, I know... I know he, he, I know him as a maths teacher. He taught me in school, Mr. Randy Taylor. Um, what about you from your end? I, I, I had it, know Randy. I know that he's married to a lovely lady from my area in Nevis. Mm -hmm. So I, I will give you the opportunity to speak to him. Well, Randy Taylor has had over 100 dramatic stage performances as an original member of Bouncing Williams Theatre Group. He attended basic music training under Edgar Bridgewater Policy, well, should I say Police Boys Band, and uh, Percy Taylor became a hardcore Calypso fan because of the inspiration of his math teacher and mentor. It's amazing. He turned to be a math teacher after yeah. all. What about um, Jovan Swanson? Jovan Swanson has been a calypso enthusiast for as long as he can remember. Jovan, who plays the trombone, is a former member of the Casanova Band and was one of the Calypsonians at the first ever Gingerama um, celebrations um, back, I think, in 2000. He was actually, um, he competed as a, as a Calypsonian. Presently, he's the president of the Navy Theatre and Film Association. He is also involved in dramatic productions and has represented Nevis in 2001 at the inaugural drama festival in Trinidad, Jervon Swanston. Trevor Woodley, I know him personally, I worked with him, and as a matter of fact, the road that I'm on, he's partially responsible for that. I know he went to do some formal training in music production and engineering and recording arts and management as well, and live sound. So I know Jemster, has uh, uh, Trevor Woodley, pardon me, that's one of the judges tonight. We all, well, I call him Jamster. You might know him as Jamster too. He has um, been one of those individuals that I, I look up to and, and forced me to get into audio engineering. So, Jamster, big up yourself, my brother. And I know you're going to do a great job tonight. So, he's one of the judges. Next judge, Shanra Baldbelt, has been judging both local and regional competitions for approximately 20 years. However, Four years ago, he accepted the invitation to judge several national carnival competitions, including the teenage and primary Calypso, primary school, I think that should be, Calypso competition, the female Calypso competition, and the national carnival senior Calypso competition. He has also participated in several judges' development workshops that have been that have benefited him tremendously. Shanwa continues to volunteer his expertise as he deems it a part of his national duty. You know Mr. Taylor, right? I'm not certain if I know McLeod Taylor. Okay. Well, uh, McLeod Taylor is an attorney at law and has been involved in Calypso since 1987. And 2021 is no exception. He is still involved and he's one of the judges for tonight. And finally, we have Mr. Philip Brown has been immersed in and playing music for most of his life, starting in the St. Peter's community as a young drummer and percussionist, and later as a drummer and percussionist for the world-famous Coronet Steel Orchestra. In the early 1990s, he was recruited by the, the then chairman of the National Carnival Calypso Subcommittee, Mr. Thomas Williams, as a Calypso judge. Mr. Brown, in short order, was able to succeed Mr. Williams as chairman, where he sub subsequently served both the Calypso Subcommittee and uh, the National Carnival Committee with distinction. Mr. Brown has been a regular fixture on our National Calypso judging panel over the years as he continues to give his expertise and experience 
to the development of our cultural, musical, and calypso art forms. Ladies and gentlemen, our seventh judge, Philip Brown. So let me just go with those names once again for you for just tuned in. Warren Moving, Randy Taylor, Jervin Swanston, Trevor Woodley, Shanwa Broadbelt, Malclore? McClure. McClure Taylor, pardon me if you're listening, I do apologize if I got your name wrong. And Philip Brown, those are the judges for this evening. Now, I also want to touch base on a little bit of, see that it's the Calypso show, and it's our 50th anniversary. Let me highlight a few of the Calypsonians who have won Calypso crowns here in St. Kitts and Nevis for all carnival. And then we're going to take a break, and after our break, we have Lady Karen's in the studio with us. We're going to learn a bit more about the lady with the turn it down. So, uh, from 1971 to 1972, you had King Entertainer. And Jujuku. That was King Entertainer here on Sinkis. But when National Carnival started, it also started in Nevis as well. And so in 1971 and 1972, the first National Carnival, Carnival King, Calypso King in Nevis, was Mr. Limburgh Hanley. Wow. King Limburgh. Wow. Man, I'm glad you're so here. He, he, he liked entertainer. He won in 71 and he repeated in 1972. Wow. Limburg Hanley. So let me ask you this then. And, and one of our Calypsonians here this evening won the first junior King Calypso Irving. King, King in Irving. 1977. That I know. That I know. So let me see if I can do this and let's see how long, how, if you can keep up. Right? And I'm not here to test Abenati, but that introduction or interjection just now sparked an idea in my head. So 1973 to 1974, King Elimat. Let's hear Nevis. Can you call Nevis? No. Okay. All right. No worries. We're going to get the mats for you, ladies and gentlemen. We've got more Calypso to come. So um, 1974 to 1975, King Elimat again. Uh, 1975 to 1976, Sweeney, and I must be honest, that I did not know. Uh, 1976 to 1977, Mighty Mallet. I've heard so much about him, and I'm glad to read tonight that he actually won a crown. Uh, 1977 to 1978, you have Star Shield. Uh, 1978 to 1979, King Elimat once again. 1979 to 1980, Mighty Mallet once again. And then you have 1980 to 81, 81 to 82, and 82 to 83, King Elimat taking that, how can I put it, uh, consecutive, three Peter, three Peter in there, yes. And then in 1983 to 1984, because you know how the carnival is, we start in one year and end in the and next the year. year. It's uh, Mark the first, uh, 84 to 85, King Elimat again. Fancy, 1985 to 86. It's interesting. Um, his name popped up. I had a conversation about him this afternoon. And someone was saying that um, we need to recognize him more. So I'm glad to see his name here this evening. 1986 to 1987, King Elimat once again. 1987 to 1988, King Stashiel. I hope you guys are keeping tab of, of the, the Calypsonians and the number of crowns that they have won. Uh, Socrates. I'm the first time we've seen his name enter in here, 1988 to 89. Uh, and as a matter of fact, he did uh, a back-to-back, -back, 89 to 90. Socrates also won the crown. 1990 to 1991, King Eli Matt again. 1991 to 92, we have Lord de Matz, or Lord de Matz to Had, if and, I can and, put it that way. so hard, I think that in that year, he made his debut. And won the crown, walked all the way to the crown in 1991, Wow. Wow, that's big, man. Uh, 1991 to 90, sorry, 92, 92 to 93, you have King Elimat again. Uh, and of course, 93 to 94, we had no competition. We all know about that. Uh, we all know about that. Yes, we all yes, know about that. Yes, yes, So no need to re get into that right now. We're talking crowns. 94, 95, King Fancy. And uh, 95 to 96, King Fancy again. All right, so back to back there for Fancy. Then you have um, 96 to 97. We have Ayatollah, and I'm going to end it right there. We have more of the Calypsonians in terms of 
who won. It's an extensive list. But like I said, we have Lady Carrots coming up right after the break. Want to get away? Now you can. Stop standing in long ATM lines to withdraw cash. Use your national debit or black cards to complete a wide variety of transactions at supermarkets, variety stores, gas stations, pharmacies, and more. Shop online at the most popular websites and stores for quality brands using your national debit or black cards. And take back your time to enjoy all the things that you love to do. Remember, instead of waiting in long ATM lines to withdraw cash, use your national bank cards today. National Bank, always here. Whether you're at home or abroad, ZIZ's social media platforms help you stay connected with what's going on in St. Kitts and Nevis. Keep up with daily events by liking our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter at ZBC Online. Like our pictures on Instagram and subscribe to our videos on YouTube. Also, you can watch us live on the ZIZ mobile app and our website, ZIZonline.com. No matter where you are, ZIZ is just a click away. ZIZ Broadcasting Corporation, reaching you wherever you are. There is an entrepreneur in all of us. They are the risk takers, the record breakers, the difference makers. Entrepreneurs are the ones who fuel our economy, they fuel job growth, they fuel technology, making St. Kitts and Nevis a much better place. And we have been there every step of the way, providing small business and personal development loans tailored to your significant needs. The Development Bank of St. Kitts and Nevis making a sustained positive difference in your life. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. And as you can see here with me, we have Lady Karens with all that smile. And she, she's definitely in a good mood. Good evening, Karens here. How are you doing? Good evening. I'm okay. Thank you. Now, let's get a bit, get to know a bit about Karens here. I, I spoke to you on numerous occasions behind the scene about, you know, your involvement in Calypso. And as I understand from you, this is your first time in the Calypso arena. Yes, it is. So what sparked that motivation, if I can put it that way, for you to say, you know what, I can do this, let me get on stage. Well, for starters, I love singing, and I always wanted to try and sing Calypso but the support was not there. But now I'm getting it from my family. Oh, that's good. So they're actually supporting you going forward. About this song, Tone It Down. When I listen to it, I can feel you in the song. Did you play a role in writing this song? Or you just told Socrates, this is your idea and what you wanted to do? Well, I told him what I wanted. You know, and... He did it, and he did a great job, and I respect him a lot for that. Now, I, I, I realize people won't know this, but when you walk in here, you're a bit perturbed about your performance tonight. Why? Well, if I'm going to criticize myself, I will say that I had a little, like, mishap. You know, you're anxious and excited at the same time, and you just want to get over it. But I just hope that my performance was good enough to take me to finals. Well, we're going to find out at the end of this evening. But let me ask you this, Lady Currents. Going forward or not, will you release your second song? Yes. Actually, I love my second song very much, and I want everyone 
to hear it and I just want to you know get it out there will you be releasing your second song is it recorded or you have to do it in the tent no it's already recorded huh? it's already recorded can you tell us a bit about it before we hear it <laughs> okay um it's called protest and it's like a warning to the leaders of the nations you know about what's going on like what happened in saint vincent you know and it's so funny that when ralph gonzal actually when i i came miss labor when i was in school i went there and visit him at his home with his family wow. so when i saw the incident of what took place um it, it hurt it. me yeah. it hurt me you Any know parents, i want to stop you there unfortunately though we are out of time we're going to take a quick break We'll hear more about that song when it's released, ladies and gentlemen. Don't touch that dial. And we'll be back right after this. Welcome back, welcome back with me in the studio. We have Rainin Calypso King from Queen City Nearest for Culture Rama in the studio here with me, the man himself, King Hollywood. Good night, man. Respect. Can you hold the mic closer so people can yeah, man. I want people to hear what you have to say? You know? <laughs> it's nice. I, I see I see Abernathy in here jumping up when you say you're taking it to the finals. Oh man, you yeah. gotta be confident, you know. You gotta talk with you gotta talk it. Speak it into being. Yeah man, yeah. you gotta speak it, you gotta speak it. You um, know, with you I, I not told Abernathy what I told Abernathy, right? But with you, I'm saying this in front of you. <laughs> You are one of those Calypsonians you cannot take your eyes off of. No one is talking about you, but you come out and you boom, you shine. GQ, uh, let me tell you the honest truth, right? I'm so impressed with myself, right? This afternoon, when I jumped on, on the boat, I didn't even know my song. I, I realized <laughs> it. I, realized I didn't it. even know my song. Because what happened, I wasn't planning to sing. Um, it's the last minute. Even in the band rehearsal, just one verse, one verse, one verse. They're laughing at me because they say, Hollywood, you sure you can sing this song? <laughs> and um, I decided I have to bring it. And when I came on the boat and I came here, I just relaxed and I did some practicing up there in one of those trailers. And, and I, I prayed to God and I said, Jesus, just make me sing this song straight through. And that's all I care about. And so it happened that I did it. And wow. so whatever the judges choose to do after, fine. But whatever the result is, I'm really impressed with myself. So... I wouldn't feel no way with either way. <laughs> you know what? After a statement like that, I'm not going to put 
rub salt in, in his wound anymore. Now I'm going to leave that, it there. I'm well, the truth is, there. that's why I decide in terms of, I'm not a fit guy. I'm putting on some weight, as you can see, right? Yeah. And um, I decided, you know, I got to come with the music. I got to come with the performance. Um, the lyrics should be fine. Um, yeah, you did hit that. You did hit you that. Know, and, and that explained why you sounded a bit flat, because I was still in Abernathy. Mm -hmm. I, I appreciate your, the acknowledgement and as you did your research mm -hmm. and you got the information right, but I just wasn't feeling the melody. The melody, the yeah. melody. We're, yeah, still, yeah. we're still feeling it out. Um, I just decided this, this competition is a difficult competition because you only have one chance to impress the judges and this one take you straight to the finals. So what happened? Why, why it, was this a last minute thing for you to say, well, hey, you know what, I'm going to enter to the competition? Well, you know, as I said earlier, um, from Culture Armor, I decided to take a bow. Um, after Culture Armor, I decided not to sing still. Um, last year, Carnival, I decided that would have been my last. Um, I must say big up to Mr. Noah, the past, um, the previous um, chairman. He was the one who actually signed me up. Mm -hmm. um, be, and he said to me, boy, sign up. I will sign you up, man, because you might change your mind. Mm -hmm. And here am I. I did change my mind. Right, right. And, you know, and um, even though I changed my mind, I was still contemplating whether or not I should go or not should go. And then I've been getting phone calls and people meeting me all <laughs> over and yeah. said, boy, go, you're not going to lose, yeah. you know. And so I was wondering, what are I going to sing then? What are I going to sing? So I said, you know what? I realized everybody going different ways. Let me just sing a vote of thanks to big up the people who would have put in the hard work throughout the years, the DJs, the musicians, the, um, the queen contestants, the people behind the scene, the vendors, the street cleaners, the, even the tractor drivers, because as simple as you look, the tractor driver is a big, big role mm -hmm. to kind of all, you know, mm -hmm. because if that dude um, get drunk or whatever, yes. you run over somebody. Yes. So it's, it's just to show the importance of everybody coming together to, 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 to make Carnival 50 reality. Well, I'm glad you took part in it, you know, because when we look back at this um, in, in the future, God's mm -hmm. our lives, mm -hmm. we can all say that, hey, you know what? The, the Calypsonians, who was who, mm -hmm. took part in, in, our, in our 50th anniversary. And it wasn't just a sinkage thing, it was a federation thing. It was a federation thing. thing. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I will tell you this much, GQ. Like I said, whether or not I make it to the finals, um, this year performance for the 50th anniversary is definitely my um, the, my last in, in sync. It's in terms of singing the calypso. What? You, yeah. what? You're not coming Mem back? Remember, I told you earlier I wasn't coming. Yes, you did, but <laughs> I, I know I know you right. I know you you, you didn't tell me one thing and then. No, no, no. I, I wasn't. This, is, I wasn't, this is it. This is this it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Whether win, lose, our job. This is it. So you're getting into drama. Huh? You're getting into drama. What are you going to do next? Well, Production, you know, you're going to train your Calypso I don't know as yet. I don't know as yet. Um, but yeah, in Nevis, definitely, I took about earlier this year. So next year, Culture Arm, I won't be defending my Calypso crown. Um, and but you had enough of Calypso? Wow. It's 30 years on a I know, I know, I know. <laughs> 30 years, man. I if I give 30 years, man, I could give something to Christ this year, you know? Oh. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, but se that, seriously, man. but. Um, yeah. yeah, so if I, even if I win the Calypso crown this year, I take a bow. Buddy. Stop and defeat it. It's a pleasure <laughs> interacting uh, with you on yeah, stage. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Stage and, and I will, sorry to cut you out, but I will really love to be in that, in that seven. Um, I have another tune there. Um, I strongly believe once I'm in the second, final night going to be trouble. Well, I was about to ask about that. You final know. night going to be I, trouble. I was just about to ask because about that. Because in that case now, I will have more time to practice. I will have more time to... I'm a taxi driver as, as I think. I'm, and trust me, being a taxi driver is not easy right now. And I'm happy to say that because things are bouncing around. Things are coming back. I'm happy to see the world is healing. Mm -hmm. And so, but the job got me really busy. Sometimes I don't have no time for myself and the music. So, but once I'm in the finals, definitely I will make some time to get my stuff ready. I was going to ask him about the second song, but I know he's going to tell me when after Everybody tonight. Everybody needs somebody. Ba, bim, 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 bim. I ready, man. I ready, I ready, I ready. Whoa! I ready. The music don't do, you know. I'm telling you, yeah, man, I am shocked. This is yeah, history. The, 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 the music people. don't do. The music don't do. Every, What's the name of the song? Everybody needs somebody. Everybody needs somebody. No matter, the, no matter your level of life, everybody needs somebody. 
Hey, yeah. buddy, thank you for being hey, here, man. We respect GQ. And keep the job going, man. Doing a good job on the radio. I like how you promote the thing, man. You know, I wish other people could just follow you. Um, I know Randy Rascal, Jazzy D and the rest crew doing it. Um, but you, man, I really got to respect you and big you up for that, man. Thank you, buddy. GQ, over and out here. Over and out, respect, man. I man. love that. All right, man, nice. And thank you for watching. Don't move. Don't touch that dial. Don't disconnect that internet hey, connection. You, you know what? Let me, let me just butt in something. I want to big up my cousin, Jumma. He was the one that really pushed me. Like, boy, you got to sing. What stupidness you're telling me? Sing. <laughs> you got to lose. So, Jumma, if you're listening, respect to you. No, Raja and the whole crew and wifey and everybody. Yeah. Buddy, don't be sorry, man. This is your time. <laughs> this is his time. We're going to take a break and we'll be back with more for you. Welcome back, and in studio with me, we have the lovely and beautiful Lady Chem. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm feeling fine. Nice one. Now, we were commentating about your outfit. We were commentating about your song. I felt your outfit was appropriate with the message of your song, right? Abenati, um, he loved the, the aspect that you, you, that you touched based on. I felt it's a taboo. Um, topic that people don't really speak about and it's happening and I commended you I think that you're really brave in doing such a, 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 a taboo topic what, what sparked that is it from a personal experience something you read what, where, where that inspiration came from okay well I would say that for one I'm always about women empowerment I love women I always try to emulate people women who are of good substance and so i try to promote and give so there are things that i see going on with young girls teenagers females mothers and things that are going on even in the churches and so it kind of pained me it pained me so i thought about it and i think i always love to sing about women empowerment love to see women uplifting themselves now, I'll be honest with you, Lady Gem, I am a novice in this thing called Calypso, and you said you always love to sing. That mean you are experienced in this field of Calypso? Um, this is my first time entering the senior Calypso, but I've entered the female show when I was about 19 years old, and I've been singing Calypso since I was in second form, junior Calypso. So you, through your high school, you were involved in Calypso. Yes. You did a stint in the female as well. And then I stopped. And 
then I came back to give my contribution to Sugar Mass 50. So is it because it's the big five zero or you just told yourself this is the time to get back into it? Well, actually, every year I've been telling, I will, I've been telling myself I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in. Even in the office, I keep telling my boss I would go in and she would say, oh, every year you're saying the same thing. <laughs> so I know, I know when she saw that I was serious this time around, she was like, okay. She really is serious. So which means if you advance to the finals, this is a big thing for you? It is. It will be an amazing thing, a great accomplishment. I think you got a chance. I really do. I think you Thank have you. a chance. You know, it's, I, I've been saying this on my show over and over, and even during our broadcast, pay attention to the criteria yes. you know, and the performance and your presentation and your package it's important, you know what I mean? Say good things don't come overnight, right? No. That's what my song said. And no. trust me, I've been working tirelessly. I've been practicing. I've, I mean, DQ, I've done it all. <laughs> I mean, my manager, he just wouldn't cut me any slack. He wouldn't. Let me ask you this before we get ready to, before we wrap up, I should say. Everyone is looking forward to, to advancing to the finals, which means you have a second song. Yes. What is your second song? Can you hold the mic closer? Okay. Should I say or just to give yeah, you a can. synopsis? If you want to sing, you want to no, sing. No, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> I'm not going to sing. But it's about um, we locals and how we look at the different, the Chinese and the Jamaicans and the Guyanese when they come here, how we accept them and so forth. Mm. Just to give a little. Okay. <laughs> a little brief. A little Okay, all right. Well, I wish you all the best tonight going thank forward. Thank you. You want to say thank you or yes. shout out to anyone? I would like to give first, give shout out to the God Almighty, to my manager, to the A Plus All Star Band. I say thank you very much for your overwhelming support. To my friends, my very close friends, thank you. To my son, He's seven years old, but he, he gives me all the support. Wow. Mommy, you can sing. Wow. You know, and I'm very, very grateful to my better half, Mr. Jeremy Burnham. Thank you so much. And to my mom and dad, my brothers and sisters, even my brother out there in the crowd, those that are overseas who are watching, I thank you so much for your support. I love you guys very much. To the Ministry of International Trade, my staff there, my colleagues, thank you. Lady Gem, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we'll find out at the end of the night if she will be going forward to the finals. Thank you for being here in the studio with us. Thank you for having me, GQ. All right, man. All right. We're going to take a break and we'll be back right after this. better time to discover what your National Bank Visa or debit card can do. Next in line, please. Can I welcome to guy? Hey, weren't you the same guy who... Uh, never mind. Can I get a number one and 15? Excuse me? There's no number 15. You take a one and a five, you put them together and you make it huge. Hey, Al. This guy needs a number one and a number 15. Oh, really? A 15? So your total is 40 to 50? Using your National Bank Visa debit or black card is fast, secure, and convenient. That's what I'm talking about. Honey, which way is the movie? You again? Welcome to Caribbean Cinemas. You guys here for the kiddies party? No, we're here for the big movie tomorrow. That will be screen four. Hope you enjoy the movie with your mom. She's not my mom, she's my date. Cashless SKN is our new lifestyle choice. National Bank, always here. The Sacred Steers National Cannibal Committee would like to thank your sponsors for Sugar Mass 50. 
St. Kitts, Nevis and Quilla National Bank, the Development Bank of St. Kitts and Nevis, ZLIZ Broadcasting Corporation, The Cable, Carib Brewery St. Kitts, Nevis Limited, National Caribbean Insurance Co. Limited, St. Kitts Marriott Resort, Royal St. Kitts Hotel, and Next Generation Medical Laboratory. It's all right, all right. Welcome back to St. Kitts, Nevis, Anguilla National Bank uh, Limited Senior Kaiso Elimination Part 2. At the end of tonight, we will find out who will be moving forward. Everyone is all eager, eager, I should say, eager about moving forward to the next round. We'll find out at the end of the night. Let me acknowledge it, let me acknowledge, pardon me, uh, our auditor Maitland and Maitland. And uh, I'll let Abernathy let you know about who will be coming up in the second half of the show as we get ready for more Calypso. Yes, Bram, but GQ, before we go into the second half of the show, I want to shout out over there in Canada, our good friend, and he has asked me to convey greetings to you. Oh, Mr. Bruce, Bruce Kerritt. Bruce, buddy, good evening to you, <laughs> Yeah, man. Bruce, thanks, oh, for, yeah. thanks for tuning in and thanks for yeah. um, providing some positive comments on the show as you're seeing it from right over there in Canada. And so, um, for the first half of the show, we had King Irvin, Lady Karenz, King Hollywood, Lady Jem, Queen Kibi. And in the second half of the show, we will be having Lord Payne, Paula, Lala, Alomunu, and the King Astro. Indeed, indeed. And let me take the time out to touch base on uh, our sponsors. Uh, apart from our title sponsor for this evening, I want to make sure I acknowledge our sponsors for making this event possible for us tonight. Uh, of course, St. Kitts Nevis Anguilla National Bank Limited, Development Bank of St. Kitts and Nevis, ZLIZ Broadcasting Corporation, The Cable, Carib Brewery St. Kitts and Nevis Limited, National Caribbean Insurance Co. Limited, St. Kitts Marriott, Royal St. Kitts Hotel, and Next Generation Medical Laboratory. And also, please take note of some of the upcoming events. You have Panorama, or shall I say the Steel Band Competition, and that will be happening on Saturday, the 18th of December. You have Icons. I spoke with Mr. World this afternoon from uh, Small Expand, and he indicated at the Icons they will be releasing something oh, fresh good, for good, good. Sugar Mass 50. So good, for those good, of fantastic. You looking forward to that show, look out for Small Expand. They'll be dropping something new. Uh, then we have the National Carnival Swimmer Pageant, and that will be happening on Wednesday, the 22nd of December. And on the 23rd, you have National Carnival Soka Monarch Finals. And boy, I'm telling you, Abanati, that one like, is going to be a good one. Yeah, it's going to be. Anyways, we're going to go to the stage right now and get ready for our next performer. Who we have next, Abanati? We have uh, uh, my. My iPad has closed on. We have Lord Payne. Let's go. Lord Payne. Lord Payne. Coming up next. Yes. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, mother. Good night, all the people of the world. Good night. Good night.
That was Joe Lord Payne doing something called Be Still. Be Still. You know, he, you know he's a musician, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm from Grand Dash Days. Yeah, yeah. 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 Man, you know what's going on, man. Yeah, man. I yeah, know, you know Jove and Georges and uh, Brother. Brother used to play keyboard. Yeah. And, yeah, 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 yeah man. Doing. So, see them singing, did that surprise you? you no, know? no, no. It, 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 um, Jove has sung many reggae songs um, with Grand Dash. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I, I, I know that George, that Jove is a, yes. is a, is a musical icon in yes. the Federation of Singers yes. and Navies. Yes. Yes. Um, he sang a song, "Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth, and I'm going to test your knowledge of the Bible." <laughs> don't, don't. But Psalm let's, but forty-six. Test. Let's move on to the Psalm next test. Psalm forty-six. Let's move on to the next test. Verse ten, <laughs> and that is where Jove took the what he sang this evening. He took it from Psalm forty-six, verse oh, ten. Oh, okay. And put in a nice musical um, accompaniment to it. So you could relate. Sweet, sweet melody. You nice music. Okay, let me ask you this. I, I was listening to it. I do agree the melody is good. But there's a disconnect for me. You know, I, I see where he's going or what he is implying. But it's not clear. You feel the same thing too? Yeah, well, I feel the same thing. Okay. The, the, okay. the song needed a little bit more work. Okay. You know, but okay. for me, um, I, see, I I'm caught on you. to the melody, the sweetness of, oh, the, okay. of, of, the, of the melody. That's yeah. what you're in here yeah. singing. Yes, that's why I was here singing. <laughs> and the horn arrangement, beautiful. Yes. Beautiful, yes, beautiful, yes, beautiful. Yes, yes, I must say. It, it, it was, but let's see how the judges feel about this one, right? And, and talking about that, on the heels of that, I think it'll be appropriate to let the people know about the criteria. Okay, the criteria, we have lyrics, 40 points, um, and that is broken down into expression of theme, 5 points, Word craft 15, substantive content 15, creativity 5, music 30 points, melody 15, arrangement 10, originality 5 points, and on the performance we have rendition 15, presentation 10, giving a total of 25 points. And as I said this evening, we are not having any props on stage, and so use of props would have been given 5 points. We have taken away that 5 points. I uh, spoke outside there a while ago and he told me that he was looking for me to come to the studio in Nevis to record the song. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we can talk more about that. Let's go to the stage and let's see Paola right now.
talking to them youth As you know, I'm a man of truth I come talking to them youth As you know, I'm a man of truth No matter what I who may say Never ever give children their own way Whether what I play It could be night or day For me teaching the can't be so big As long as you move them Come ahead and move them And I don't do do that For you that ain't a problem No, you got to come out and move them Come right out and move them And I want to see you move each and every one of them I say, they are tomorrow leaders More them I say Guide and protect them along the way no altar boy, do not stray Come ahead and mold them You got to come mold them And without a doubt You got to come out Boy, just come out and mold them Mold them The future kitchen, the future of this nation. Give them a good education and all the aspiration. Them is our leaders and our teachers, nurses and even doctors. Doing that a child, like I want somehow impregnate a young kitchen right now. Move Come ahead and move them And I know to do that For you that ain't no problem No, you got to come out and mold them Come right out and mold them And I know that ain't a problem and Tomorrow leaders, more them I say Guide and protect them all the way no altar boy, do not pray. Come ahead and move them. You got to come more. And without a doubt, you got to come out. Boy, just come out and move them.
what you think of children today? I think they are fabulous. We shall love those that go hungry, not don't live with us. Children in different places, they got children of different dreams. Whether they are far, don't care who they are. Let me hear me get the chance to pass up and move. Come outside and move them. And I know to do that for you, that ain't a problem. No, you got to come out and mold them. Come right out and mold them. And I know you can mold each and all of them. Yeah, let me tomorrow, leaders, mold them, I pay. Guide and protect them along the way. No fault of mine, do not quit, come ahead and move them. You got to come mold them. And without a doubt, you got to come out, God. Come right out and mold them. Thank you! All right, so that was Paolo doing Nations Youth. What's your thoughts on that, Abu? Well, first off, I must say that Paola reminds me of um, a character that we have on Nevis. When I went outside this evening and I saw him, I almost thought it was a guy by the late, the late John Kelly. He reminds me so much of that famous character on Nevis by the name wow. of John Kelly. Wow. I, I, it's almost as if they are identical twins. Wow. So that's yeah. why you stopped and spoke with him? Yeah, I, I, I spoke and I said, are you related to John Kelly? Yeah. And then is when he engaged me. Okay. And okay. said that, you know, he wanted to come to my studio to do his song yes. for this year. Um, yes. um, speaking um, again to, you know, us as adults, um, molding the young children to, mm -hmm. to you know, to bring them up in the way that you know we would want them to to be brought up um good lyrics well in terms of the message very good message because you know it's a message that we would want to keep reciting over and over and over and repeating it over and over again especially in these times when you know you know we we need to have a strong hold on our children, children, on our yes, children. Yes, and so yes. Pahula um, gave us a very strong message here this evening. Um, the name of the song? Nation Youth. Nation Youth. Nation Youth. All right, we have uh, a crowd favorite coming up next. The man, Lala. La -la. Jam with your mask for carnival. All right, I'm not going to say much about that because I want you to hear it for yourself. <laughs> Looking forward to your feedback on that as well. So after Lala, we have Ala Mulu. Mulu. But we're going to go to the stage right now and uh, take in the man himself. And make his contribution. So on behalf of National Bank and Cable TV, put your hands together for Pahula. I believe we should open an account in National Bank for Pahula. Start with a dollar to buy his clothes for the next season. How was sound? <laughs> a boy, if me could get close to beg, but who look could get close to put on? Because just today, you know, I see the St. George's Anglican Church selling dead man garment. I see two shots from Limo, and you know how long Limo dead? <laughs> he couldn't buy two of them there. And he come up here in them there. Lord have mercy and matches. Good night to Susie. Susie, the customer saying your chicken taking too long to fry. And my sister is over there. My father only take her just before he died in 2006, the 4th of February. Good night to my sister. She looked just like my ugly sister Marlin. To look like twin. <laughs> Story up here. Calypso sweet. How a sound? 
How are sound? Lights out. Lights out, ladies and gentlemen. And we talk about dressing. And we talk about Calypsonian. Put your hands together and welcome on stage. I like his, his correct name, Clement Williams, a.k.a. Lala. And the name of his Calypso, Jam with, Jam with Your Mask for Carnival. He extended it. Put your hands together for Lala. <laughs> You're back in me? You're back in me? Oh, you're back in me? Hey, you're back in me? You're back in me? Yeah. You're back in me? Oh, you're back in me? We can never this fear, this one went bigger than before. We got to protect ourselves from this deadly virus. Cover your mask, for Cover your mask, for Cover your mask, for Cover your mask, for yourself, Cover your mask. When you come out your house, put on your mask Put the mask on your children them too This is sugar mask, this is mask of class We and tram, and we are going bad I see what we brush up, coming in the mask I see wet up, coming in the mask What we brush up, better look at the wet up Coming in the mask, hey, in the mask I see sugar bowl of Wall Street, sugar bowl coop in a van, got any mask. I see EK on a truck, EK got any mask. He look like Dennis Brown, hey! Come in your mask, look at our mask. Protect yourself, come in your mask, look at our mask. Protect yourself, come in your mask, look at our mask. Protect yourself, come in your mask, look at our mask. Protect yourself, hey! This is sugar mass 50, we got to, we got to enjoy it, we got to jam, you know long time, we ain't had a carnival, this year, boy we going wine, we going jam, we going wine, we going pick up the chest with a jam, the corona to rest, jam in your mouth, for carnival, protect yourself, jam in your mouth, for carnival, Protect yourself, jam in your mask, for carnival. Protect yourself, jam in your mask, for carnival. Protect yourself, eh? I still Lolo, jam in a box of shot. Lulu like them look like Judy Live but one. I see. <laughs> it's Lulu jamming all the tongue. I see ugly people jamming the mask. I see good looking people jamming the mask. Oh, jam, 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 jam. Sugar City, jam. We are jam, we are jam, sugar up to the mass! 58! 58! Oh, let's jam! Let's feel good! People are jumping on Elia! Respect to Elia, my girl! I respect Elia! She'll be here jamming! She'll be here walking up! Elia! Jam in your mouth, walk out of us! Protect yourself, jam in your mouth, walk out of us! I love you, King Lala! Protect yourself, Protect yourself, 
King Lala. Lolo, Lolo, you're back in me. I come back final night. I come in final night. I tell about the boxer shot. Well, you and Judy live with legs. I love you all, King Lala. Lord, he is a singer, never make final yet. Know how we buy local, jab in the mask, judge them. Lord, put me in the final this year. I can win the crowd. just heard from the man Lala, Lala. One, of the, one of the crowd favorites um, jam with your mask for carnival I won't test your knowledge and I won't test your knowledge on the Bible either I've learned my lesson tonight <laughs> the Bible and and history of Calypso I'm, I'm gonna stay away from so talking about history of, of Calypso I realized the melody of that song and where it came from right I'm not gonna test you <laughs> I know you know. It's from Elimat, correct? Yeah, King Elimat complain mass all over town for Carnival 71. Yeah. And how appropriate, because we are now 50 years um, on from when Elimat released that song mm -hmm. in 1971. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, so yes, yes, yes. I believe that um, Lala was deliberate in using that melody for the song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it probably might have been the first roadmap song for National Carnival. We Probably to, might have been. We, we have to check that. Yeah. But regardless, though, is it enough to get him through to the finals? Obviously, he feels so. Well, I, I'm, I'm not a judge. <laughs> well, he actually came, he actually went leaving the stage, said, put me in the finals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he said it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did. He did. Yeah. So. yeah. Oh, my goodness. I, I, uh, judges have a hard task this evening. I know. I know. I know. Very, very hard task. I know. 
But hey, it, it's, a, it's a good show, and we're down to the final two. We have uh, Alan Malou up next during um, Christmas and Carnival. Um, he said we have two Carnival, Christmas and Carnival. You, you heard the song, you hear it shaking yeah, your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have um, King Astro closing down the night with a song called Resilience. Early this evening, he asked you, when we were looking at the, at the Kings, we said 1971, 1972, we had Entertainer in Nevis and Limburg. Entertainer in Sinkis and Limburg in Nevis, and then you asked me about 73. Mm -hmm. But in 1973 in Nevis, we did not have a Calypso competition mm. because the Calypsonians were um, negotiating for an increase in, their, in the prize monies, and so they boycotted the show. And that boycott was led by the same Spencer Limburg Hanley. Oh, really? And, uh, and, 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 and Zero, who incidentally became the first king of culture armor the following year in 1974. Wow. I'll be sure to remember that. Yeah. I'll be sure to remember that. And when they ask where they get from, I won't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I just say I'm from Nevis too. <laughs> remember yeah. the light was originated in Nevis. Right? I know. I was just about to say that. <laughs> All right. So, so we, we're, we're, we're almost at the end. And remember, we will be announcing, um, well, they will be announcing the... Uh, the finalist for tonight going forward. Um, once again, I got touch base with uh, Maitland and Maitland. And uh, the auditor for this evening. Let's go to the stage. We have uh, the man himself, Alan Malou, coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the next Calypso kind of Soldier on stage? I got to call him by all his name because he's a decent elder in our society. Ladies and gentlemen, he goes by the name of Larry Armani. His singing name is Al La Mu Lu, like in honor Lu Lu. Name of his calypso is Christmas Carnival. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Alamuno. Bacanal, Bacanal, St. Kitts had to carnival. Bacanal, Bacanal, St. Kitts had to carnival. Christmas festival, <laughs> soulful carousel. Ham carnival, labor carnival, party political. Petty and comical Oh, what bacchanal Trouble in the carnival Bacchanal, bacchanal With this double carnival As we celebrate This golden animal There was pile repression on the slavery Meetings of Africans were prohibited But to guide motivation and ingenuity Our people pressed on and planned how to get ahead So, Wednesday masters marked the birthday of Christ their King By giving praise, partying him and having fun then slaves smartly partake in celebrating, incorporating African and native tradition. Oh, yo. So in slavery times and long after emancipation, on the states and wherever hard labor was applied, workers organized. Street theater presentations to demonstrate our vibrant culture and the people's pride. So people were happy in the Christmas season. Everybody friendly 
in this joyous season Carols in the air, swing by everywhere Villages come to town, relatives come back home Repression and misery under lock and cover This Christmas festivity unblock the people's power Social mobility with better education Bled the street performances into decline Political insensitivity and workers' emigration Led to disappearances at Christmas time Then a progressive activist in 1957 Sought to craft a different template on the carnival The dynamic committee of the dynamic Basil Henderson Brought a brilliant concept with their carnival But after a few years run of glowing success The carnival slid slowly into stagnation Beset by church-led objection and growing staleness Disconnect with the majority population. Oh, yeah. So the state became empty of real direction to help the people's Christmas celebration. But animosity and political polarization. Led to the competing back from 1968 to 1771. But hear this steel band in the street, jamming slow and sweet. The music, musical, acoustic and cultural. To evade the dread drama of the year before But no one committee solely authorized all public action So Nevis created such a drama in August 1974 Following the national edict, there were highs and lows The old Christmas court tradition still getting close The heavy hand of politics Dealing tricks at Calypso shows And the registration of band registration Becoming more exposed To support our native cultural tradition And support the Christmas man in its natural view And promote more inclusive carnival participation This brilliant and vast must move to a more radical place Oh yeah. How to sell and recreate national carnival in a template that has become more universal. We may do well to emulate our music festival and to set a date to one that's much more practical. So people are happy in the Everyone could party in the carnival season Music in the air, both times of 
the year Relatives reappear Visitors everywhere <laughs> And conflicts and miseries Don't press in a corner For these two festivities Each express the culture Music in the air Both times of the year Relatives reappear Visitors everywhere <laughs> And conflicts and miseries Don't press in a corner For these two festivities Each express with culture Put your hands together for Ali Muna. Wow, I must say, right? First thing first, we're coming to you live from Cannibal Village at Warner Park, and tonight is presented to you by Sinkis Nearest Angola National Bank, always here, and powered by The Cable. I'm yours truly, GQ, and alongside me is the man himself, yeah, Abenati. And we are here bringing to you the Calypso Night 2 of the Calypso Eliminations live from Carnival City, Warner Park and St. Kitts. And on stage, we just had the man Calypsonian number nine for the evening. Yes. The man yes. Alumuno with a song entitled Christmas Carnival. Well, no, no. We should, it should be Christmas and Carnival. It should be Christmas and Carnival. It, it should be. be. Yes. It should be. It should but, be. Um, it's Christmas, comma, Carnival. I, I remember specifically when he came to the recording studio, he said, Christmas, oh. comma, carnival. Okay, and so gave... you had first-hand experience <laughs> with him. You see, that's what happened when you were a producer, a sound engineer. You get to get the four-in-one before everybody else. Yes. But let me say this, though, before you go too far. I, I, I commend him for bringing the history aspect, history, of, yeah, yeah. History aspect of it in the form of music. That's not easy to do. I, I realize there, there were certain parts or verses in his song. He kind of truncated certain lyrics to fit in, which was very hard, especially when he's making reference to um, the past chairman. Yeah, right. I, I, I know it's difficult, but he, he, he got it in and still stayed on time. And, and kept the beat and kept it moving. So I got I to gotta commend him for that. Because taking a topic that has to do with history and, and turning it into a song is not easy, you know what I mean? The melody is catchy as well. The melody is catchy and he performed the, um, with a lot of energy this evening. Yes, 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 he did, he did. Um, he gave us a whole history on the evolution of carnival. Yes. Before 1971, he said that there were two carnivals that existed in St. Kitts. Yes. Pam Carnival and there was some other carnival. Read <laughs> <laughs> between the lines. <laughs> uh, you know, um, um, Alamuno, we know him to come with this kind of topical and historical data and he presents them in, 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 in song. And, you know, we have to cherish what people like Alamuno do for, for the preservation of our national carnival, um, the history of, the history of our yeah. national carnival. Yeah, indeed, yeah. indeed. Uh, coming up next, we have King Astro is going to be doing a song called Resilience, and that is speaking to our legacy in terms of our trials and tribulations, what we've been through over the years, and, and how we overcome certain obstacles. That's going to be interesting as well to see how he handles that and how he presents that in song. I've heard the song before. You probably have heard it yourself too. But tonight, if you haven't, it's a good time for you to kick back, relax, and listen to some Kaiso Kaiso. It's all about uh, Sugar Mass 50, and we will find out who will be moving forward to the finals. So let's take you to the stage for our final Calypsonia for the night, the man, King Astra, out of Queen City Nearest, doing Resilience. King Astro, name of his Calypso, is resilience. Put your hands together for Astro.
pray I see that he's resilient To bounce back every time stronger You can kill the culture A state of emergency In 1993 Cancel the carnival festivity But it came back with a bang Like the Lele Shang Shang Better than the four in 94 All the hard work in committees, all the sacrifices, so bring out the champagne. Let me hear this sweet refrain. Carnival celebrating 15, 15. That is resilient To bounce back every 
time stronger You can kill the culture A state of emergency In 1993 Cancelled the carnival festivity But it came back with a bang Like Ilele Shang Shang Better than before in 94 That is resilient all the hard working committees, all these sacrifices, so break up the champagne. Let me hear you, sweet refrain. Carnival celebrating 50, 50. Thank you and good night. Sacred's nearest National Cannibal Committee would like to thank your sponsors for Sugar Mass 50. Sankit's Nevis and Quilla National Bank. The Development Bank of Sankit's and Nevis. Zalai Z Broadcasting Corporation. The Cable. Carib Brewery Sankit's Nevis Limited. National Caribbean Insurance Co. Limited. Sankit's Marriott Resort. Royal Sankit's Hotel. And Next Generation Medical Laboratory.
Welcome back to St. Christopher's Anguilla National Bank Senior Calypso Elimination Part 2. We are down to that time of the night when the judges are doing what they're supposed to be doing and we'll be announcing who will be moving forward to the finals. Before the break, we had on stage the man Astro, and I must say to our listeners and viewers and to you, Abenati, I have never heard Astro like that before. I've heard this song many times, but tonight the clarity, the diction, his presentation the, was, was the just vocal, above and beyond. The vocal clarity was second to none. Yes. Probably um, the best for the night. Best for over the next the last two nights. He was he was so clear. Yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah. he took his time in in delivering his his lyrics. He yeah, was yeah. he was awesome this evening. Yeah, man. The right tempo, the right yeah. feel, his demeanor on the stage. He felt, for me, looking at him, it felt like I was looking at a veteran, and he is a veteran. Yeah. He two is, times, yeah, back to back. Yeah, he um, showed it. Calypso Monarch. Yeah, he showed it tonight. Eliminations or not, he yeah. he came out tonight and he said, you know what, I'm accustomed to this thing, and yeah, you know, here I am. Actually, when Astro came to Carnival City this evening, um, he left, and I myself, I was going downtown, and I met him walking back to Carnival City with a bag, and I said, Astro, you went to get something to eat? He said, no. What I brought to St. Kitts to perform in this evening, when I got here, I thought to myself that it was not good enough, so I went downtown and got myself a new outfit. Wow. He's serious. taking this thing serious, man. He's, he's taking yeah. it serious. Can't blame him. You're in it to win it, so you got to exactly. do what you got to do, you know? So uh, I've been looking at the comments um, from my personal end, and one person said they never really paid attention to his song, but after his presentation tonight, they, they felt that he could actually be advancing to the finals. Well, we're not here to judge and tell you who we think will be going to the finals. Stay tuned. We will find out in just a bit who will be advancing to the finals. In the meantime, though, I want to acknowledge uh, all of the players in this evening and over the past nights and weeks for us getting to this point from the sponsors to the workers, sound engineers, videographers, uh, backstage uh, production managers, and, and those at the gates, those taking your temperature, those working in the bar, the people staying back afterwards and cleaning up, security. I mean, the list just goes on and on. I want to thank you guys for being a part of this production and making this event for Sugar Mass possible, Sugar Mass 50. And so, GQ, we have come to the end of night two. Um, the National Bank Senior Calypso of Eliminations. And so this evening we had the performers. Um, we had King Irving. Lady Karenz, King Hollywood, Lady Gems, Queen Kibi, Lord Payne, Paula, Lala, Alumunu, and the King Astro. Two nights of, of awesome Calypso music. The time will be here in just a bit. Let me acknowledge the sponsors for or or night for tonight, if I could put it that way. Sigis News and Gula National Bank Limited. Always here. Development Bank of St. Kitts and Nevis, ZLIZ Broadcasting Corporation, The Cable, Carib Brewery St. Kitts Nevis Limited, National Caribbean Insurance Co. Limited, St. Kitts Marriott Resort, Royal St. Kitts Hotel, and Next Generation Medical Laboratory. And let me also take this time out to acknowledge the All Star Band, the players for the All Star Band, uh, Wingrove Hicks. Um, Nigel Williams, Larry, Orrin Roberts, Alex Condell, David Henley, Kurt Lee Hodge, Roland Abel, Clifford Isaac, uh, Kirk Richards on Jum, and Melissa Keynes, and uh, the man, Mr. Raymond Brown, doing uh, backup. And to our judges, I'll let you touch the judges, or you want to do something else. Well, I was, I was going to give our, our viewers a rundown of 
who we saw performed last evening. All right, so before you do that, then let me touch base with the judges. judges okay. Let me make sure I get their, 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 their acknowledgement in uh, over the past two nights. Warren Moven, uh, Randy Taylor, Jervin Swanston, Trevor Woodley, Shanwa Broadbelt. Um, I always have a problem with this one. McClaw. McClaw, Taylor, and Philip Brown. Thank you guys for your time and uh, your judgment as well. And so last evening we had Murray, Lady Diva, King Craig, Quantash, Honesty, King Socrates, Miss Independent, Lord Matt, Lord Cut, Takeover, and the Awesome Navigator. Some 11 Calypsonians performed last evening. And this evening we had some 10 Calypsonians giving us a total of 21 Calypsonians performing in the in Calypso, the National Bank, Senior Calypso Eliminations on Sin Kids. And once again, the criteria, uh, for those of you who missed it, you have the criteria broken down into three categories. And of course, they have subsections in each category. So you have uh, lyrics, which is uh, expression of theme, wordcraft, content, and creativity. Uh, music, oh wait, hold on before I go too far, let me make sure I take my time with this. Expression of theme, five points. Wordcraft, 15 points. Content, 15 points. And creativity, five points. Music, uh, you have melody, arrangement, and originality. Melody is 15 points. Arrangement is 10. And originality is five. Five. I always feel I should be more, but I'm not responsible for this. Performance, you have rendition 15 and presentation 10. I, I, you know, Abinati, I always feel for originality, and, and, and this is by no means knocking the, 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 the committee or the people responsible for this, but it's not easy coming up with something to sing. And make it make, and not only that, making sure that it's original. Everyone and, and, is a and, and critic. And doing it annually. Yeah, everyone is a critic. I mean, the guy by the shop who owns a bar, uh, the lady who cooks on the, the side of the road, the guy who come and clean your yard. Everyone is a critic when it comes to this. And yeah. they can all tell you that song is not original. original. They all. I mean, yeah. So I, I feel going forward originality should be given more credence um more points more points okay okay mm. tough one to debate um gq i was hoping you would um, engage me but i know, I know, I know you've been I know you've been involved tough in this one. over the years tough you one. probably played a role in crafting <laughs> this uh this, no, well, this, I, this I structure that this, that this this criteria is is one that i think that sinkis and nevis um, adopted from Trinidad many, many years ago. Oh, okay. They actually use the same criteria over in Trinidad. Okay. It is one that um, I know since my tenure at Culturama, we, 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 were, we managed to get it from Trinidad. And um, looking at this one, it's the same thing. Okay. It's okay. the same thing. And okay. you know, Trinidad is the Mecca of Calypso, the land I, of Calypso. I'm not here to debate that, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so the same. Remember I said, eh? I'm not engaging you on the history <laughs> and the Bible. I'm staying no, out of and Jick, you're talking about the history. <laughs> talking about the history. Um, we, this evening, early this evening, um, play your mass all over town. Come play your mass all over town by King Elimat. I think I said it might have been the road march uh -huh. in 1970 but incidentally sander popo was the 1971 road march winner mm -hmm. and he had a song play your mass mm -hmm. okay okay all right so we got it right now we got it right now. okay good 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 all right so we're at the point when we are standing by for the results for this evening as it relates to over the past two nights who will be moving forward what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick break. And before you go to the break, expect to hear at the end of this evening, the cheat. The cheat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back right after this. <laughs> the Sinkett's Nearest National Cannibal Committee would like to thank your sponsors for Sugar Mass Thrifty, Sinkett's Nevis and Quilla National Bank, the Development Bank of Sinkett's and Nevis, Zillizet Broadcasting Corporation, The Cable, Carib Brewery Sinkett's Nearest Limited, 
National Caribbean Insurance Co. Limited, Sankets Marriott Resort, Royal Sankets Hotel, and Next Generation Medical Laboratory. Stand from our production team. They are just about just about ready. ready. To that grand announcement. Yes, 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 yes. So we're going to the stage in just a bit to hear the big announcement of. In, in just a bit, we're going to the stage to hear that. We're going to the stage in just a bit. Not right now. Not right now. In just a bit to find out who will be. Moving on to the finals. In the meantime, though, while we wait for the results to get in, who, apart from Astro, who we spoke about a while ago, who you enjoyed the most for the evening? Oh, um, not, not enjoyed the most, but who jumped out at you apart from Astro? Jumped out on me. Apart um, from Astro. Um, Astro, he jumped out on me. Um, I particularly liked um, Queen Kibi. Um... There's a lady who, who sang. Uh, I think it may have been Lady Jem. Lady Jem, yes. You interviewed Lady Jem? Mm -hmm. Yes. She jumped at me, jumped out at me as well. I particularly liked her, 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 her song and the way she presented her song. So my top three, four for this evening probably would be, um, and not in any particular order, Astro, um, Queen Kibi, Lady Gem, uh, and it's a, it's a it's, it's it's a tough call for. Let me see. 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 Uh, don't want to put my head on a on a block. <laughs> no, you're just to, giving your opinion. <laughs> just giving your opinion. I'm gonna give mine in just a bit. You 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 you. you. Mm. Okay. Well, you can't play that. For me, Lady Karen's tone it down. I, I love the bounce of the song. I love the message in the song as well. Uh, Lady Jem, I like her song too, Who Can't Hear Feel. I, as I said earlier, I, I felt, I felt, I feel she is brave to, to tackle an issue like that. You know, it's not a popular topic. Uh, Kibi, of course, you know, I like Kibi's song, uh, The Double on Tom. Uh, Lord Payne, I love the melody and his performance. Love the melody. <laughs> and his performance. Uh, I, I, I still feel there was a disconnect. The, the message wasn't completed. But um, he jumped out at me tonight regardless. Uh, Lala, I enjoyed his performance, especially when he was teasing Lulu about <laughs> you know, her, her legs yeah. and, and Junior Lyman. <laughs> um, I must say, I, I, over the past... A uh, few nights, um, looking at the Calypso competition tonight, Alamalu stood out to me more than, yeah. than any other night. He stood out. You know who who, who also stood out? King Hollywood stood out, um, except for he needed to he needed some additional work in terms of tightening up his lyrics, but in terms of his stage performance um, and the way he 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 you know handled the the. The, the, the use of the, the way he used the microphone and, and, and the way he gesticulated and used his body language to convey. I think that he did a good job at that, except to say that I think that the, the well, he, I think he told you that when you, mm -hmm. that he was, even when he got here, he was, mm -hmm. he was unsure. Unsure. Yeah. Yes. He was, he was and you still could practicing. Have, yeah, yeah, practicing. Yeah. And yeah. You, you could have seen that coming out on stage. Um, but, one thing you must give credit to Hollywood for, when he gets on stage, he usually put down a very, very good performance. Well, and he performed creditably this evening. Well, I, I, I must join you in, in, um, in, in acknowledging him as well, because something he said to me tonight, I, I overlooked when he said, you know, today was the first time he was doing this song, but he prayed that he just made it true, and he did. Yeah. He did. Yeah. You know, he, he didn't fumble. Um, he didn't bust, as we say, yeah, locally. Yeah. Um, yes, we, we all could have told that he, he needed to do some more 
you know, needed more work on, on, mm -hmm. on his presentation. But regardless, I guess because he's a veteran in the business. Veteran in the business. He was able yeah. to, yeah. you know, yeah. overshadow some mm -hmm. of those obstacles and, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, made his way through the, the bushes, if I can put it that way, and, and came out on the other side. So, all in all, Hollywood, wish you all the best. I'm not taking my eye off for you because yeah. I, I, I say it again and I say it again. For Culture Hold on, for Culture Ramo, yeah. I did not have Hollywood, not even in the top three. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so when he came out king, yeah. I was shocked. So I've learned my lesson. Don't put your mouth on Hollywood, just yeah, watch. Just watch. Mm -hmm. You're going to talk so, yeah, about King of it. Yeah, I was saying that King of it himself was was good as well. He he made a little fumble in the start of the song. You know, um, when when it happened, we both looked at each other. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think that he was able to recover. And um, all in all, all of the Calypsonians this evening they performed creditably, and we must give them kudos. Matter of fact, over the last two nights, all of the all of the Calypsonians, the 21 Calypsonians that came here yeah. over the last two nights, they did a commendable job. Yeah. And we must say. Kudos to the Calypsonians, to the band Ringrove and Nigel and, and the other members of the All-Star Band, to the Carnival Committee, to the Carnival Cheerwoman Shannon, to the Subcommittee Cheer Sherry's. They have done a fantastic job in not only putting together um, a hybrid version um, of Carnival for the 50th anniversary celebration, mm -hmm. but in terms of the Calypso show, the Calypso tents, over the last four weekends this evening, I think that the stage is set for a ding-dong battle come December the 30th mm -hmm. when we'll have the Calypso Finals. Yes, we'll talk about shows coming up. Don't forget you have the Panorama Steel Band competition happening on Saturday the 18th of December. You have Icons, the road match edition, and that will be happening on Tuesday the 21st of December. You have the National Carnival Swimwear Pageant that will be coming up on Wednesday, the 22nd of December. Abenati, they are ready with the results, so let's take it to the stage and find out who will be moving forward. Decision time. Yes, yeah, so, okay, so, yeah, so we're going to find out in just a bit who will be moving forward, who will be, you said seven, seven, you said seven? Seven, seven, seven to forward. go up against the reigning queen, or the reigning monarch. Reigning queen, queen G. Queen G. All right, so they're almost ready, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just waiting for the queue here. I'm eager, just like you folks. Who will it be? Will your seven be moving forward? Or maybe four to your seven, or three out of your seven, or maybe one from your seven, or maybe nobody from your seven moving forward. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. If it's seven out of 21, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. So we're going to find out, we're going to find out, we're going to find out. I, I, I am looking forward to, to that in just a bit. It has been a great show. I'm looking at the time for tonight, and we, we've done this in a record, record time. Record time, record time, time. yeah. yeah. 16 minutes, moving up to the hour of 11 mm. o'clock. As a matter of fact, the actual show um, ended just about 10.21 this evening. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you're right. Mm. Yes, you're right. So, and we wow. had a very long break. break. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're, wow. Wow. So, man, I'm telling you, kudos to the... Um, the Carnival Committee, man, you guys are doing fantastic. Uh, in the meantime, let me acknowledge the sponsors once again. Thank you, Sneerus Angula National Bank Limited. Development Bank of St. Kitts and Nearest. Zelai Z Broadcasting Corporation. The Cable. Carib Brewery St. Kitts Nearest Limited. National Caribbean Insurance Co. Limited. St. Kitts Marriott. Royal Singers Hotel, and Next Generation Medical Laboratory. And uh, let me acknowledge the committee members, um, Calypso representative. As a matter of fact, no, you did that already. So yeah. I, don't, I don't need to sure do that is. again. But yeah. What I want to, to I, I, I made mention of it last evening, but I also want to reiterate it this evening that other regional carnival organizers are looking at us, and they are looking to see how Sinkers and Nevis could 
pull off a carnival in the middle of a pandemic. And in fact, I made mention of it last evening. Um, Chairman Hawley, Chairwoman Hawley called me a Sadafin and said, look, we will be having some regional observers coming to St. Kitts for the latter part of our celebrations to observe because they are how asking the question, how were you able to do it? And so, you know, it appears as if GQ that we will have the honor of announcing the final seven this evening. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. All right, so we, we do apologize for that. Uh, our, our production team were just letting us know what's happening. So we good to go? Okay. So they're not ready as yet, but we will be joining them shortly, very shortly. So you were saying that yeah, so the, the, the region are looking. The, the region is looking at Sinkis and Nevis. Mm -hmm. um, and they, are, they want to take a page out of our book in terms of organizing their festival. Grenada has already called, and they'll be coming here later this month to observe. Mm -hmm. Because I think Grenada's carnival is in... July, August, okay. somewhere close to culture, either just before or just after. Okay. And, and, you know, they want to observe and they want to, how can you do it? Yeah. I like that. They're planning ahead, yeah. way ahead, way ahead, way ahead. That's interesting, man. So for those of you around the world, locked in and locked on, we are standing by for the results. Uh, as, as I sit here, I realize that we are very close to that moment of announcing who the finalists will be. So in the meantime, let me go through okay, my we, list. We were with, looking at the Carnival with, Kings. We started to, to, to look at that. Um, no, I, I, I reached we to 1996 got... when, I, when I announced Fancy, and I was just about to announce Ayatollah, um, who won in 1996 to 97, God rest his soul. And then you had 1997 um, to 98, Mighty Pat, and doing a back-to-back there. Back-to-back. Uh, 98 to 99. Go ahead. Then Ayatollah came back in, in 1999 to 2000. Then we had Socrates, 2000 to um, the year 2000, 2001. And then in 2001 and 2002, we had Pungwa, and the Puma repeated again in 2002, 2003. Then we had Ayatollah coming back in 2003 and 2004. King Socrates, 2004, 2005. And then we had King Conris from 2005 down to 2009. Let me interrupt you, my buddy. They are ready. So they let's ready. go to the stage and let's get the, the list of who will be moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Christopher Alfonso Nathaniel George Washington Jesus Roberts, a.k.a. Short Pants. I want to say good night to the viewing and listening audience who have been with us all night. But so far, so good. I had to put on my extra eyes to deal with these prime print. But I'm here this evening to call out the finalists for Sugar Mass 50, 2021, 2022. Are you ready? Okay. No long talk. Are you ready to tape production crew? Ladies and gentlemen, number one. His correct name is Astro Brown. His calypso name is King Astro. Score total of 380 points. His calypso name is Sacroti. His government name is Sylvester Hodge. His score total of 300 and 70 points. In number three position, Carissa Willett. 
365 points. In number four position, Andrew Nisbet score a total of 362 points. In number five position, the name is Kibian Willett, score a total of 355 points. In number six position, the name is Kamara Williams, score a total of 353 points. In number seven position, we have a tie in number seven position. So eight is going to, to the final to deal with the reigning queen. We have in number seven and eight position, we have a tie. And the points are, and the persons are, Andrew Hendrickson, 300 and 39 points and number eight position with the tie with number seven position Owen Roberts 339 points and those are the eight persons that are going to to the final ladies and gentlemen thank you get home safely Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, we do apologize for, for oh my goodness, but we, we're both here in, in shock. Oh my goodness, oh wow. It's, it's, Abenati, I'm speechless, man. Let me hear from you. Please. And so the results from the judges are in, and we will quickly, before we wrap up this evening's broadcast, um, in position one, or are you going to say from um, seven come up? We have. Why oh, you want to do this? Why oh, you want to do this? You want to start from one come down, or you want to start from the eight go up? Um, I think there's a technical error. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. All right, we just announced what's here. And then we go from there. But my buddy here is, is pointing out something to me. Um, he's, he's going to go and, and seek some clarification, ladies and gentlemen. Um, with, with our broadcast team, I don't know if it's possible for us to take a quick break and, and come back while Abenati go and seek some clarification on what we're seeing here before we, we wrap it up. Or, okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna take a quick break.
back and we just have to take a pause to clarify a situation here and I must inform, we must inform our viewers that nine Calypsonians will be competing in the senior Calypso finals of December the 30th. The reason for that is that there was a tie and so the both Calypsonians who are tied for position number seven will advance to the Calypso finals. And so in position number eight, with a total of 339 points, we had a takeover. In position number seven, with a total of 339 points, just like takeover, we have Murray. In position number six, with a total of 353 points, Lady Diva. In position number five, with a total of 355 points, we have Queen Kibi. In position number four, with a total of 362 points, King Hollywood. In position number three, with a total of 365 points, Queen Independent. In position number two, with a total of 370 points, King Socrates. And in position number one, with a total of 380 points, King Astro. GQ? Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Your finalists for Sugar Mass, St. Cassius Anguilla National Bank Limited Senior Calypso Competition. Who will be victorious? Tune in to find out. And we must remind our listeners that um, the reigning monarch is Queenie G. Queen, Queen and G. And so these eight Calypsonians will be trying to wrestle the crown from Queenie G. And I'm positive that Queenie G, was, as we like to say, would not lie down and play dead yep. and allow them to come and take her crown. So mm. she will be putting up a fight come December the 30th, right here at Carnival City on St. Kitts. And so we want to invite you, those overseas, those who usually log on to come back and join us here December the 30th for the National Bank Senior Calypso Finals. And GQ, I will give you the final say as we bring this broadcast to a close. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good night and enjoy your weekend. God bless. And if you're going to church tomorrow, pray for the nation.